I have been to Soyapango. I have many people wonder how it looks in the daytime here in Soyapango. This is how it looks. Real on real, baby. El Salvador is super caliente. Oh my goodness. Strollers sitting right there. Yeah. Oh, bolsitas no it's not gratis? Eh, no, 17 centavos le cuesta. Por, por uno? Mm -hmm. I love Compestre. For all the other families that hosted me and things like that, thank you guys. I appreciate you so much. Love you. Te amo mucho. Touristing in Soya Pango, El Salvador. Well, it's my last chance here in El Salvador, and I found the taxi guy here in Soya Pango. So he's gonna go get his car. I was just gonna go ahead and get an Uber and um, just go ahead and head to the airport. I'm pretty tired. But my man said taxi. But I was like, nah, man, I need a Super Selectos and a Dispensa Familiar. Why? Because I don't know what it is. These juice drinks that you guys have here in El Salvador, the maracuyas, the naranjas, the um, Jamaica drinks, juice drinks that you mix, those drinks here mix so well that you could just put a small amount in a bottle, in a cup, and the whole thing will be juiced up like it's nothing. I put it in my water bottle and drink it while I'm at work. It's awesome. So the company is usually Tang, but it's different because I had Tang in the Philippines and it's totally different. You have to put sugar with that tang. Here, you don't need to put sugar in any of those juice drinks. It'll mix perfectly fine. So now, Toya Pongo is pretty much my last stop before I go to the Dispensa Familiar and get some juice drinks. What's your name? Jesus. Jesus, all right. This is Jesus right here. He's gonna take me to the Dispensa Familiar. That's Cerca over here. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, head to the airport so I can get my behind home. I've been out here for a while. I've been having a great time out here in El Salvador, but everything comes to an end. This is Terminal Plaza Amensur. Vaya, gracias, señor. All right, I'm going to the front. So he agreed to 25. I, I was trying to see how much the Uber was costing, but my phone stuck on 3G and it was taking too long. And I was like, man, I ain't got time for that, man. Let's get out of here. So yeah. That's where I am now, so the pongo, baby. So, Jesus. Por qué tú no conducir Uber? No, no te gusta Uber? No. No. No, Uber, 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 Uber no. Uber no? Muchos lo persigue la policía. Oh, for, for. Nosotros, nosotros aquí somos, somos, somos libres. Mo, oh, more libre for taxi. For taxi, sí. for ser taxi. Entiendo, ¿no? Ok. Sí. Y el Uber vale. mucho lo persigue la policía, entonces, okay. por eso mejor el taxi. So, policies, policía. Policía, sí. Ok. Policía. That was hard for me to understand, because it's almost like the same word, but he's not saying police, he's saying policies. And he's right, because I do Uber back in the U.S. too, and there's super amount of policies that you gotta, you know, adhere to in order to make sure um, your trip is good and the people are good and stuff like that. It's not a bad thing that there's policy, but sometimes, People don't want that stuff over the head, you know? This, this is how it is. So we're heading out here in Soyapango. This is how it looks right now. El Salvador is super caliente. Oh my goodness. Strollers just sitting right there. All right. So yeah, those little juice packets, once again, man, they're, they're super cheap. So it's like, why not? You know, why not just uh, go ahead and get a lot of them and stack up on them before I go? Oh, wow, right there, super close. The spin stuff. It looks like a warehouse. I would have never thought I could actually buy something here. Okay, I see the front side. Yo, <laughs> mate. <laughs> tu conoces mucho, gentes? <laughs> Nos llevamos bien. Ah, si, sí, es sí. tu famoso, eh? Si, sí, es que tenemos que, aquí tenemos que ser unidos. Oh, si, sí. wow, vaya, vaya. Ser unidos por, por cualquier cosa. Oh, que, okay. Uno se queda, llanta ponchada, etc. Aquí está la despedida. Alright, so it's just a, a minus minutos, it's not much, just necesito comprar a jugo. Sí. So what I was really initially going to do was try to take the 29 bus into San Salvador and from there 
after the 29 bus, you know, finding a super selector so dispenser. But, um, you know, he, he approached me, and it's probably better to drive with a taxi than getting on and getting off with my, my bag. I always take at least one bag with you. Okay. Just minus minutos, okay? Yo out, okay? All right, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll, okay, see. All right, so he's gonna wait for me, but just in case if he drives off, at least I have my bag that has my passport in there. Okay. Okay, where's this dag on juice stuff at? If they don't bother me to check it, I ain't checking nothing. Google, Google. All right, let me cut this off before I get in trouble. So this is pretty much what I'm talking about. You know, they have the Zuko, they have the Luranzo Ja multivitamins. I don't even care what they are. I just get them. You know, 29 cents, whatever. Guayabana ba. We get the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm raiding this bad boy, you know what I'm saying? Yep, tang right here. This is what I was looking for. All right here, Manapu. Yeah, I just get it all. Just get it all. I'm raiding this place, boy. Naranja, te. All right, I need, I need two hands, so I'm gonna let y'all go. Bye. Well, I got what I needed. Shows, definitely seems like I'm gonna have to give that taxi driver more than $25. Because he's sitting in that hot sun. So, I'll definitely hook him up, but this is all I'm gonna carry. And that's it, I'm out of here. Where's the open terminal? No, no, no. Well, her light's not on, so I can't tell. And this light's on, but it's locked up, so who knows? When I started this. Bah. Es bueno? Es better por comprar todo? Es no problema? Bah, bah. I didn't know if there was like a limit or something. Like, no, no limito. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's what I like. Hey, thing about this. Capital One credit card is I get 3% cash back on grocery stores, which this is considered as a grocery store. Cash back for the win. Too many, too many Hugos, man. Too many juices. Bolsitas, no, it's not gratis? Eh, no, 17 centavos le cuesta. Por uno? Mm -hmm. uh, I have one in my bag, but... Um, you know what? No, I have one in my bag. I'm going to carry it out just like that. Nope, no, no, no bolsita. I don't care. I have one in my bag. So how much does this cost? Don't say... That's cheap, I guess, for all that juice. That's real. That's real right there. It's a good price. Un bueno precio. Let's see. All right, gotta go. Yep, I already got a bag. No need to pay for any bags, right? Keep the bags out of the ocean, right? Gotta be safe for the ocean, you know what I'm saying? Hua! Gracias por esperarme. Bueno, ahorita vamos de camino. Sí. Well, we're on the way, baby. Airport, here we come, San Luis Talpa. All right, so. I have been to Soyapango. I have not had any problems. Soyapango! Yay! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Many people wonder how it looks in the daytime here in Soyapango. This is how it looks. Real on real, baby. Got people standing up on the back of the truck. I did that when I was in Santa Tecla. Got babies in the back just chilling, you know? So, it's possible to get around, whether you have a stroller or not. Just make sure you can sit on someone's lap. I guess that's all it takes. But yeah, man, this is how it looks in the daytime of Soya Bango in Salvador. Yeah. Baby's just chilling in the back, boy. It's pretty calm, no issues. I'm not seeing any like violence or anything like that, you know. Um, I'm sure there is some, but over here, all is calm. This is muy, muy tranquilo in Soya Bango, see? Right. Yeah. Oh, see, all in El Salvador, it's uh, zero delinquency. Exactly, so zero delinquencies. That's what I'm talking about. That's how it should be, man. We don't want no delinquents here. You know, just safe living. Look at this view. Look at this vista. Oh, wow. Hermosa. Yes. Que lindo. This is how it looks. Route 
11. car shops in this area right here tire shops anything you need to fix your car all in this area right over here car washes everything now we're going down to more distribution services more car shops pharmacies all in one area one thing I find interesting is they like to put big wheels on small cars like this but not like too big not like Florida where you putting dubs on a Sentra now nah, they usually probably go up to like 16 or 17s on the Sentra. And there, are, and there are definitely a lot of Nissan Sentras in this area. And you see like these little small lights in the back below the brake lights. Those are like flashing lights. They like to accentuate their uh, status at night. It glows sometimes underneath or even in the back. Or just sometimes those lights just don't work anymore. And those are the secondary lights. Instead of fixing the original ones, they'll just add more lights. So. That's the definition of get it how you live. If you ain't got it, make a way to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Get it how you live, boy. ¿Qué parte es? Aquí, este, y aquí, este, se llama, y aquí ya pasamos a Colonia, es San Marco. San Marco. San Marco, sí. Okay. Colonia, 10 de octubre. Okay, cool. Right. Colonia, 10 de octubre, San Marco. 10 de octubre. 10 de octubre? Colonia, 10 de octubre. De de octubre. Ah, en aeropuerto. Okay. Uh, aeropuerto. Oh, okay, so we're on our way to the airport. Okay, cool. All right. Ahora estamos San Marco. San Marco. Colonia, 10 de octubre. San Marco. Sí. Uh, del sur. No, tel, Terminal, San Marco. Terminal del sur. Terminal del sur. Oh. Terminal del sur, sí. Okay. All right. So right now we are in San Marcos at this time. Yep, there it goes right over there. So it says, Alcadia Municipal de San Marcos. All oh, right. Okay. Carretera como Lapa. Lapa. All right. All right, on my way to the airport from San Marcos. Autopista. Autopista. Carretera como Lapa hacia el aeropuerto. Okay. Cool. Made it to the airport. Campero Salvador dot travel. What I got, what I got. Oh, I got some easy sets for five. All right, so. Give him a little bit more, I'll give him 30, no problem. Okay. Jesus, gracias por esperarme. No 25. 30? Muy bien. Vaya. All right, feliz día, okay? All right. Muchas gracias. Muy amable, okay? Muy amable. All right, gracias, okay? Bye, pues. Oh, yeah. All right, I made it back to the airport. My luggage is broke, so I gotta carry it like this. I'm going into Valeris, but I don't really understand these rules. I did a mobile check-in, but then there's like a thing that says you still need to go to the counter, so I don't know why all these people are waiting, so let me get my butt up in here. I don't know how it works. Please. 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 Check in. Necesita esperar en la línea? Let's see. Fotografía. Este. Este. Va. So it's complete. Sí. So no necesito esperar? 
So just Segundo nivel. Since, okay, so first level. Okay. okay. Immigration. So that proves it. I don't need to wait at all in the line. So mobile check-in is the way to go. Gracias, okay? okay. Bye. Mm -hmm. Let me yeah. go. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so first nivel is where I'm going and I'm a little hungry, so I might get myself some compensator or something. Gracias. They got Burger King up here now, they got a lot. So, and I hate when people are waiting outside sometimes because you don't know if they're waiting in line, you don't want to be rude. But I learned from Guatemala, people just do that anyway, they just wait in line, even though they have like nothing to do with the process. So, don't let that confuse you, just run up into where you need to go, and that's it. What's up? How you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get up in here. See, this has happened to me in San Miguel. It's all jacked up. It's jacked up, man. I need a new suitcase. This has taken me to so many countries. Now it's jacked up. Who, who can give me a new suitcase? This is Pierre Cardin. Thing jacked up, boy. Pastor Aleman, compromiso, un compromiso. All right, let's get up there. Migración, okay. see? Another voyage to El Salvador complete. It's super hot, boy, but that's what it is. Migración. All right, so I just spoke to the immigration officer and he's like, nope, if you want to go get food at the food court, you need to go to the food court first and then come back down to immigration. So you're forced to eat, your, get your food first over here. Yes, there's food after this, but it's more restaurants and stuff like that. Not like the pizza huts and things up here and, and whatnot. I'm anxious to see what has changed at this airport since the last time I've been here. Hola, pase, pase, come on, pase. All right, let's go get some comida, man. I'm hungry. All right. So the Plaza de Comida. Let's see what's going on here. Pizza Hut. Okay, now that's in action. What, they, they sell desayunado? At Pizza Hut with no pizza? That's a first. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got the bathroom here now. Okay, it's changed. Some things have changed. You got ice cream. So this is just Pizza Hut. A whole big restaurant for Pizza Hut. Alright, so it seems like they opened up the space out here for food. A lot of families getting ready for their flights. And this is why you need to come up in here super early. So you can come here and get some of this new food that they have here. Cloudy's Cake Cafeteria and Pasteleria. That's what they call it. All right, let's see what else they got. And they do have Pollo Con Pestre. Last time I was here, they didn't. All right. Let's see what I can get. Celestial. <sighs> I did say I want to try stuff differently. Some people ask for Pollo Con Pestre back home, but I don't feel like carrying that stuff this time. All right, let's see. Well, this is Chinese food, so I ain't in the mood for all that. So I'll just get the compester because I love compester. Mm -hmm. Dang, it's expensive. Hold up. Let's do papas con chile for four twenty-five. Papas con chile. Um, yes, yes, yes. And let's do do dos porciones de pieces de pollo. So, so that's, that's it. Qué refrescos tienes? Okay, let's do Jamaica. 
Yes. Solo de eso, that's it. Prices have gone up indeed, but it is what it is. I'm hungry, I need something to eat. Gracias. ¿Cómo estás tu día? Bien. That's what I like that. Me gusta. Gracias. What's this? Oh, I thought I had to do my fingerprint. Mis dedos. Mis dedos con eso? No, no, no. Le vamos a llamar. Ah, es que brrrr. Vaya. Ok, gracias. There's some new technology here. Nuevo tecnología. <laughs> Alright, gracias. Alright, I'm gonna sit down and get me some to eat. Okay, this is cool. Now that's a big behind chicken. I think it cost me about like $3.60 for just that. And $4.50 for this. This is a small portion for $4.50, but I don't know if it's airport prices or what, but I could have went on the street, but it wasn't worth it. I knew that they had a pollo from Pestre here from the people that come through the airport, so I was like, I ain't gonna make my man stop one more time just for some compensation. But, let's eat. So, I'm not gonna show you the food. This ain't no real mukbang, it is, but I just wanna explain my experience this time around. This was, overall, my fifth time coming into the country and having fun. I've had a wonderful time. Um, you know, I definitely would like to come back again, but Nicaragua is calling me. You know, I have to explore the mundo before I get back here, who knows? So, I don't know. I don't know when I'm coming back. I know a lot of people are messaging, saying, okay, I'll take you around, whatever, things like that. And I hear your messages, but sometimes I'm just on the go. I'm just like, bop, 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 super fast. Um, but yeah, that's how it is. So, I don't really get in touch with a lot of people while I'm here, just one or two. Um, but I want to say thank you to Alex Portillo for helping me come into the country. He, um, he's the one that brought me to Santa Tecla. Had a wonderful four nights in Santa Tecla and then Morazan, La Union area. Had a wonderful time. So thank you, Alex. You're the man. Keep pushing. Um, other than that, for all the other families that hosted me and things like that, thank you guys. I appreciate you so much. Love you. Te amo mucho. Gracias. Ok, familia. Out there in the Morazan Departamento. All right, guys, um, you know, it's been real, you know. I had a great time. Um, I got my juices. I got everything I wanted. I got two sombreros. I got me an El Salvador shirt. And got some gifts for some other people. All is well. So right after this, I'll be going to work, making that money, and see where else I can go after this. But Madagascar, you're back on the table. So I'm going to go ahead and start finishing editing those videos. I know some people have stated they were waiting for those. So yes, I will finish editing those and posting them to show you how Madagascar looks at this time. Um, and the Philippines as well. I have put a stop on the Philippines as well just to go to Madagascar. So now that I'm done with El Salvador, I'll revisit both of those countries. All right, guys. I hope you have a blessed day. And go ahead and watch all these videos if you missed them. Peace. Top of the world now. Nah. I'm on top of the world. All right, so since I'm here with some locals, I'm just gonna ask a question to my guy right here. He says he's from Anamoros and was living in the U.S. in New York for cuántos años in Nueva York? Eight years. Eight years. Yes. Okay, so he's back here in Anamoros, and so I just want to ask, ¿qué te gusta de Anamoros, El Salvador? Good weather. Good what? Good weather. Good weather? Yes. Clima. Clima. Okay, so bueno clima aquí en uh, Anamoros. Pero ahorita it's like 
like caliente for real. Caliente, caliente ahorita. You okay with that? Yes, I'll like it caliente. Okay, so what are you doing in the parque today? ¿Qué haciendo hoy? I'm working here. You working here? What yeah. you doing? Uh, loteria. Oh, loteria. Yes. Oh, okay, so that's what these guys are doing over there. I was wondering. Okay. Well, that's cool, man. I hope you ganar the best. Yeah. Whatever's going on, whatever you're doing, man. But that's how we get down here in Ana Moros. Gracias, señor. Oh, yeah.